My name is Nir Friedman. I'm a simple man. I want to have a good time. I want to go to the seaside or to a good party. And now to start thinking about the world to come and this world, it feels a bit too much sometimes. You know what? If you still have a chance, run away. <laughs> There's no need to ask a lot of questions. I mean, why do we have to look into and examine things that we do not need that much in our daily lives? We can't help it. From generation to generation, our ego, our desire to ask questions, to understand why we are living, what we're living for, why we struggle so much, why life is so hard, and who pulls the strings, grows. All these questions make us restless. Who am I? Where am I going? What makes you ask these questions? Who will give me an answer? You, and only you. What are people trying to achieve? Money, respect, family, and children. But what will I do with that sensation of emptiness? What will I fill it with? You know life flies by. What will you be left with when it ends? Kabbalah on Karma Channel. This is a true story. I wrestled the championship and it lasted maybe four hours. Four hours passed and in that time the upper force descended upon me. I'm saying this quite, uh, you actually felt it. If he's the perfect one and he created us as a seed, then why did he take us and hit us on the head? Not just once, but a number of times. It's like you take a little child and you hit him in the head with a 10-pound hammer. He goes to the hospital, they treat him, and he's left retarded. You say, what can you do? He's retarded. But it's no surprise that he's retarded. You understand? He takes people and he shakes them up and he turns them into very mean creatures. Into rapists and murderers and criminals that devastate the world in every possible way. And then he lets people like Saddam Hussein or Hitler come to power and they murder millions upon millions of people. All this only in order to give you a lesson? You've made something out of yourself in this world. You that didn't exist before. You've created something in your lifetime as a sphere that floats in the air. It is you, with all of your energy and information. So does it all just disappear? So according to the wisdom of Kabbalah, could I continue to live forever? No problem. Forever. Today I give you an opportunity to come into resonance with the eternal part that is in you. If I cut a man open, I won't find a soul inside. Physically. No, the soul is a place where we receive pleasure. Is it possible that I received someone else's soul? No, the soul always stays with you. Maybe you don't look the same. Maybe I was more attractive. Kabbalah on Karma Channel. Is there a place for freedom in our lives where we make decisions? In other words, where is our choice? Where is my choice and the choice of others? Does free choice exist at all? No. No, Rob Lightman, you will not take my free will away from me. I grew up in a religious Orthodox home. What's the role of music in the world? All of the sounds that we want to make on all of the instruments, all of them are but the cry of the soul. On one hand, it's good to achieve such elevated spiritual degrees, but the fact that you cease to reincarnate means that you close your shop. Yes, but you open a supermarket. I left my Orthodox environment not because they told me to. They told me, no, 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 don't leave. But I left. That was my free choice. No, no, it wasn't. No. What are you saying? Why then? You came out of the power of one environment and into the power of another. What is the other power? The other power is the secular environment.
Where is the truth here and where is the lie? The lie doesn't interest me. Where is the truth? Are there answers in the book of Zohar or other Kabbalistic books about when the world is going to end? Is there a date? How much time will it take for humanity to say, we want to change right now? We want it. Seven or eight years. It'll happen in just seven or eight years? All of the suffering makes you ask the question, what am I living for? What am I living for? Is it possible to see spiritual places, spiritual worlds, also with our physical eyes? And if a person doesn't have eyes, it means they can't see the spiritual? And if we don't have a body, it means that we die? Yes, what happens then? The soul reincarnates? Such things exist, but does that mean that we also lose the sixth sense? Do you think that I will succeed with my current plans, with the new shows that I'm doing? First of all, the fact that you bring joy into the world is a great privilege indeed. Well, it seems that it's impossible in such a short time to raise and answer all of these difficult questions. But it was a great pleasure for me to have visited the group of Rav Leitman. However, I wish that I had talks like this every day. This is exactly the thing that we're lacking. The laws and the logic that we still fail to grasp, but we absolutely must try to understand. <laughs>